This way, please. Captain! Well, Charlone, this is what you've been waiting for. Do your best. Yes, sir! Oh no! Wayne! We must find a physician immediately! I will leave Wayne with you, and go report to the King. Yes! Please, Riviera, you just need to get a doctor, and fast! I'll hurry. After concluding ten days of investigation based on the testimony of Xenos, all suspicions and accusations levied against Wayne and the others were dropped. Charlone passed the Unicorn Knight's entrance exam with splendid results. However, while this was happening, the threat of full-scale war with Rolandia grew much greater. Soon, Wayne was summoned to an audience with King Elliot.
So, uh, where do we start looking? Hmm. Wait, someone approaches. Uh, sister? Well, I guess that settles the question of who got the good looks in her family. Woof! Riviera, what are you doing here? I was just wondering the same thing about you. I'm quite surprised to see you here. Why should you be surprised? I came to search for you when you didn't return home. I wasn't in danger. But I can see where I might have caused concern. Uh, if you'll all excuse me, I need to talk with my sister privately. That's fine. We'll just wait here. I won't be long. We can talk over here, sister. Uh, Riviera? Uh, uh, wait! I wonder what it's like to have relatives. Huh, must be nice. Why? Don't you have any brothers or sisters? I might, but if I do, I don't know about it. I was raised in an orphanage. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, it's not a problem. You didn't know, and I'm used to it. I just wonder sometimes what it would be like to know your family. But hey, if I hadn't been raised in the orphanage, I wouldn't have known all the other kids I was raised with. I guess that's something. That's a... surprising way of looking at it. If you're not careful, I might have to revise my low opinion of you, Runt. <laughs> Just wait. I'll have you eaten out of my unwashed hand, Charlo. I wish I knew where my father was. The Unicorn Knights aren't the Imperial Knights. Well, that is true, but the Unicorn Knights are a squadron specially created to assist the Imperial Knights. <sighs> Pietro, I'm working to keep my promise to you. Now it's time for you to do the same for me. But... By the time I actually become an Imperial Knight, it might be too late to heal you. You have to do the surgery now. Well... You're almost there. Okay, I'll do it. But you're not getting out of the promise to become an Imperial Knight. Unicorn Knights don't count. They're girls. Oh, Pietro. Sorry to have kept you waiting so long. So, how was your brother? He'll be fine now. He's agreed to have the surgery. I'm glad to hear that. I can't thank you enough for helping me. You're as much a part of his recovery as I am. Hey, what about me? If I wasn't pushing you, I bet you would have given up. Don't press your luck, Hans. Charlone. <laughs> Father! Just where do you think you're going? I'm going to fulfill my duty. Nonsense! There is no need to serve in such a utilitarian fashion any longer. You're a unicorn knight now. But father, regulations state that... Regulations have nothing to do with this. I shall use my influence to release you from this duty. Now that you have achieved the next level of service, it no longer suits you or this family to associate with these types. But father, you were the one who encouraged me to sign up in the beginning. I can't... abandon my assignment. That was then. This is now. Charlone, this kingdom is at war. The danger of losing your life with this expendable squadron increases with each passing day. I won't hear another word of dissent. You are staying here. I shall see to that. Father! 
I can scarcely believe that I've heard those words from my father's own lips. Well, Wayne, looks like we're going to be traveling lighter and quieter. What do we do now? I think... Charlone, in light of what just happened, it would probably be best if you just stayed here. What are you saying, Captain? I can't abandon you when our kingdom needs us the most. Your father is right to be concerned. It's very likely that you could be sent to the front lines, putting your life in danger. I didn't enlist to abandon this duty at the first sign of danger. Can you blame your father? How can he let you go knowing that harm might very likely befall you? I do not agree with his position, but I understand it. Right. Enough debate. You should rest here for the night.